Thanks for clicking on this video. I know that you're a very busy person, but I would beg you to please stop whatever you're doing and just take a moment to watch the rest of this. It's my heart's great desire to be able to get this message out as quickly and as clearly as possible. About a year and a half ago, we all witnessed the devastation of the Haiti earthquake taking place right in front of us on our TVs. I happened to be on the island when the earthquake took place, and I did not know at this time that this event in history would significantly change the path of my life forever. I had the opportunity to go into Haiti two different times within a few months after the earthquake shook the island. On my second trip into Haiti, we went to visit a gentleman by the name of Joseph. Joseph and his wife had began to care for about 200 kids immediately after the earthquake. Many of the parents in the area began to bring their kids to Joseph and his wife since they were not able to feed them and take care of them on their own. They had been receiving some of the food that was being transported into Haiti through Go Ministries. and We had simply come to verify the distribution of this food. I talked briefly with Joseph about their ministry and about the kids that they were taking care of. And thankfully, at this time, I was able to get his email address before I left. Over the last year and a half, I've stayed in touch with Joseph through email. Currently, Joseph still has about 20 of those kids who live with he and his wife full time. They also have three kids of their own, and his wife is seven months pregnant with their fourth child. They're all homeless, and everyone sleeps on the floor in a small little building with dirty cement floors with a tin roof. They wake up every day not knowing where their next meal is going to come from. I was blown away by their life of faith, and about four weeks ago, I feel like God was asking me to go back to Haiti and spend some time with him and his family and the orphans that live with him full time. All I can say is that this trip brought to fruition much of what God has been stirring in my heart and my wife's heart for the last year and a half. As a result of my time with Joseph and his family, I immediately came home and we started a nonprofit organization called New Life Ministry. New Life is committed to helping establish a new life for families and orphans in Haiti by the spreading of God's word, access to education, and through creative entrepreneurial business ventures that will help create a clear path to self-sustaining income within the culture. Now, this is where you come in. We've established a website called newlifeministry.org. I would like for you to go to the website and learn more about what we're working on and looking forward to as a grassroots organization. First, we have some immediate needs that we are trying to address within the next week or two. First need is we're trying to rent a house for Joseph and his family. It's very important that his family have a house that they can call home, a place where they can actually sleep and get rest, especially with his wife being seven months pregnant with this new baby on the way. We feel it's very important that she has a place to lay down, which she doesn't at this point, and be able to rest her body for these next few months before the baby arrives. Also, after the baby is here, we feel like it's very important for the baby to have a safe place to be able to be raised for those first few months especially before they're able to transition into a more permanent place that they can call home. At this point, we're looking at the need of about $2,000 to cover an entire year's rent for their entire family. We feel like this is a very doable thing, and we are hoping to get this addressed just as soon as possible. The second thing that we really want to take care of immediately is purchasing a motorcycle for Joseph. When I was there, we were able to ride on the back of a motorcycle that had been lent to Joseph by one of his friends. That friend is coming back home within the next couple of weeks, and Joseph will be without any transportation at that point. It's very vital that he have transportation for him to be able to take care of all the needs of his ministry, of his kids, of his family, and also the schooling, the theological schooling that he's also attending at this time. This purchase would be about $900. This would buy Joseph a brand new motorcycle. And we feel like this is a very important step that needs to be addressed immediately. Our family has set aside some of our own money to address some of these immediate needs, but we desperately need your partnership in order to lessen this load and take care of the family, the kids, and many others, Lord willing, in the future. Currently, there are 17 kids that have been orphaned by their parents who live with Joseph and his family full-time. We are asking for you to consider sponsoring one of these kids on a monthly basis. Or you may be more interested in helping to sponsor Joseph's family and their soon-to-be four kids. Either way, if we are able to partner together and get their family and the kids sponsored, we would have enough funds as an organization to take care of all of their needs provide meals seven days a week for each and every one of them, provide medical attention as needed, 
pay for schooling for all of the kids and all the other necessary monthly needs that Joseph has as a pastor and leader in his community. This is an exciting opportunity where you can be an intricate part of what God is doing in Haiti. Our goal is to have partners, not participants, in our ministry. Please consider helping us accomplish this very realistic goal of sponsoring the 17 kids and Joseph's family. We believe this is just the beginning of what God is going to do, but it is the essential foundation that is needed in order to move forward as a ministry and accomplish all that God calls us to in the future. We need you to partner with us today in order to build a solid, sustainable foundation for the future. Please visit our website at newlifeministry.org to partner with us today. God bless you all.